Hi everyone, Alex here. Today I'm going to show you how to create filters in Revit. This is going to be a brief introduction. We're going to start with a simple rule-based filter. And for that, what we do is create a bunch of pipes with different sizes and length. And then based on that, we'll create a new filter. We give it a name. We assign it to the category of pipes. And based on that parameter, in this case, the size, we're going to have Revit select or not certain elements. Then we're going to move into multi-rule filters where we're going to consider now size and length. And then based on a combination of those, we're going to either select or not. Then I'm going to show you the difference between and and or when you're using filters and rules. We're also going to deal with multi-category filters. In this case, it's going to be pipes and valves. And then we're going to make it a little bit more complex. See you in Revit. So let's start drawing a few pipes here. I'm going to start with, uh, let's say, a small pipe, three inches, and let's give it 20 feet for length. And let's do the same thing. But instead of 20, I'm going to give this one 40 feet. And then finally, I'm going to have the same pipe, but that one's going to be 50 feet. Okay, and I'm going to copy over these three pipes. And I'm going to change their diameter to, say, 6 inches, right? So now I'm going to tag the pipe so we can clearly see what's happening. And I'm using a tag that is displaying the pipe diameter and the pipe length, okay? So as you can see, this is 3 inch 20 feet, 3 inch 40 feet, 3 inch 50 feet. And the same thing, but now with 6 inches of diameter. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to filter things out of this view. Okay, so let's go to VV, Visibility Graphic Overrides, and let's go into our Filters tab. And now we're going to create a new filter. For that, we can come here to Edit, and then we can click this button here. And let's call it Pipe Dimensions, right? And now I am filtering my list of elements here, of categories, to display only piping. Because if I were to show a bunch of things, it would be hard for me to find pipes. But if I go all the way down to just piping, I can easily see that pipes is right here. So I'm going to select this category only, which is the type of elements that I'm going to be selecting. Right? I can hide unchecked categories to have a cleaner view of what's going on and now what i'm going to do is i need to define some uh, some logical rules for example i can say that my pipe size right let's say i want to filter out all the pipes that have a pipe size larger than four inches right you could go here and say pipe size is greater than and then you could select here four inches right so let's do okay and now we created our filter but we have to add it so I'm gonna go to add and I'm gonna hit PI to find pipe dimensions here so filtering is a selection tool okay we're telling Revit that any pipe that has a size greater than four inches has to be selected, okay? So any any pipe that complies with this rule is gonna be selected. So when I hit okay here and I'm selecting my filter, if I turn that off, any pipe that complies with that rule should be turned off. So let's, let's test it out. I'm gonna take this to my other screen. And then what we're expecting is that any pipe that has a pipe size larger than four inches, for example, this three, six inch pipes should be turned off. So what I'm doing is unchecking this and I'm gonna click apply. And there you go, they disappeared, right? Now let's go a little further. Let's say, well, I, okay, that's, that's fine. I got rid of my large pipes, but I also wanna get rid of very long pipes. And what you could do is you can go to your filter. I'm hitting VV again. And then under my filters, I can edit my filter. 
and then I'm going to add, let's say, okay, I'm going to, right now by default, this is under and, right? But if I want to do an or, and I add a rule, and I say that my pipe length is greater than 40 feet, right? Now I'm telling Revit, okay, any pipe that has a size greater than four inches, go ahead and select it. But also, any pipe that has a length greater than 40 feet, I want you to select it as well. So if we hit OK, and now remember, we're, we're turning that off. So what we're expecting is that if I click OK, the length that was larger than 40 feet disappeared. Now, if I were to force the AND value, if I come here and I do edit, right? And now what I want is instead of OR, I want AND. Now it has to comply with both rules. The size has to be greater than four inches and the length has to be greater than 40 feet. So if I click OK now, and then I click OK, see, it had to comply with both rules. So what happened? This one is out of the game because this one's three inches. It had to be more than four, right? So all this are out of the game because they're all three inches and it's less than four. This two here seem to be okay because they're more than four inches. So why were they not turned off? Because we had another rule that was that the length had to be more than 40 feet. So this one's not more than 40 feet and this one's not more than 40 feet. So that's the way that works. So again, to summarize, if we go to filters, what we're doing is we're giving our filter a name. In this case, it's called pipe dimensions, right? And then we're applying to a certain category that we're selecting a set of rules that had to be complied with in order for that selection to be valid. In other words, Revit is gonna select all the elements that comply with both of these rules. If I change this to an OR, Revit is going to select any of this type of elements that comply with either this rule or this rule. Now where it gets a little more interesting is where you try to select multiple categories, right? So let's say I want to select the, the large stuff and my large stuff is going to be large pipes and accessories. So let's say I want to include pipe accessories in this selection. If I click here, notice that Revit is giving me this message telling you that the selected set of categories requires that the filter criteria be reset. Do you wish to continue? In this case, I'm going to continue just to show you what Revit means by this. Notice that we had two parameters, size and length. If I click yes, now length disappear. And the reason why length disappear is because even when pipe has a length parameter, pipe accessory, unfortunately, for in this case, doesn't have a length parameter. So it's only displaying the parameters that are common to both of these categories. But just for the fun of it, let's just keep it like this and let's hit OK. Let's hit OK. Notice that my visibility for that selection is turned off. I'm going to turn it on temporarily just so that I can you know, see everything, and now I'm gonna dump a couple of pipe accessories. One is gonna comply with it, and one is not. So I'm gonna drop this valve here, a three inch, and then I'm gonna drop a six inch valve right here. And then I'm gonna go back to my filters, and I'm gonna turn it off. And there you go, everything that was large was turned off. Now think about it, it makes sense. If you like this kind of content, you can subscribe to the channel. If you click that bell, you get notifications and then you don't miss any of our new videos. And if you're serious about your professional training, go ahead and visit us at bimitup.com and there you can contact me directly for some professional training. And now that we understand how filters work, we can get rid of that filter. 
not only here, but I actually want to delete it because that's not a real filter. That's just for explanation. So let's give it a shot in the real world. Let's say I have this 3D view. I'm going to take this template off and let's try to filter this out. I have a filter for natural gas. So let's take a look. Initially, when I didn't know much about filters, I would go with something that was inclusive. What I mean by that is the following. Let's go here to, for example, natural gas piping, right? And let's study this one out. What I used to do is, okay, I, I, would, I would tell Revit, listen, anything that is pipe accessories, pipe fittings, insulation, placeholder, or pipes, right, which has a system type equals to my natural gas system type, select it, right? The disadvantage with that is that, yes, that's a pretty valid selection, but let's say what this would help me with is turning off natural gas piping. Because remember, filters are selection tools. So yes, I'm selecting everything that is natural gas and I could turn it off. But that's typically not what I would like to do. What I would like to do is show natural gas pipe only. So I would like to do the opposite of what I'm doing. But let, let's take a look. Let's say I have the visibility here. And if I click OK, you'll see like this regulator here and meter that you see, this is going to disappear. When I click OK, it disappeared. Why did it disappear? Because I turn off anything that made the filter true. And the filter was saying, OK, anything that is in natural gas, that is pipe, pipe accessories, etc., turn it off because we turn it off here. And that's not really what we wanted to do. I mean, it may be what you want to do, but typically that's not the case. So I'm going to hit undo. And instead of that, I'm going to show you a different filter. I used to call them yes filters to the ones that were inclusive and not filters, the ones that were exclusive. So in this case, I can go to not natural gas. Well, this was a little bit more complex because it includes uh, a few categories, right? You can tell that it includes uh, also something that I call, I'm using plumbing fixtures as a terminal device in this case, and I'm including two different pipe systems. In this case, the natural gas itself, but also the natural gas vent, which I would like to show in the same isometric. But let's say I, I, I click here and I want to use this filter and I want to turn it off, right? Notice that what I what I call for here is that anything that is not equal to natural gas, I want you to select it. Why do I want you to select it? Because I want to turn it off. So when I turn off, anything that is not natural gas would turn off. I mean, I have a, a bunch of equipment uh, that didn't turn off, but that's the, the idea is that eventually you get to a template, which is something like this, natural gas. And then when you click on it, then yes, anything that is not natural gas was turned off. But this template is made out of several filters. So, you know, we have to go step by step here. So for now, I just wanted you to understand how filters work. But filters and templates are closely related, so I'm going to follow with another video for templates.